a student was a bit late for his math class. And so as he walked into the classroom, he hastily got to his seat and copied the problem from the blackboard behind the professor, assuming it was their homework assignment. And that night and the following day, that maths problem gave him quite a headache as he struggled with it, trying to figure it out. And eventually, though, he managed to solve it. And he handed his solution to his maths professor at the next class. The professor looked at the assignment and stared at the student in absolute astonishment and then said to him, this wasn't your assignment. It was only an example of an unsolvable problem. So often we're exactly like the professor rather than the student. We limit ourselves by what we believe about ourselves and our own capabilities or what we believe other people can or can't do. Another great example of this is the bumblebee. Well, when you look at it with its little wings and its huge body in comparison to it, it's strange to think that it would ever be able to fly. Yet, it does. In fact, the flight of the bumblebee looks so strange that during the 1930s, a French entomologist, Auguste Macnan, concluded that if you take aerodynamic principles into consideration, it is actually impossible for a bumblebee to fly. Now, this is obviously not true, as we see bumblebees fly all the time. The truth, though, is that instead of the bumblebee being limited by beliefs of what is possible and what isn't, it was August Macnan, the scientist, who was limited by his beliefs. He thought bees flapped their wings up and down, in which case his assumption may have been accurate. But bees move their wings back and forth at specific angles that create vortices in the air around the wings that keeps them in the air. The fact is that Macnan's beliefs kept him from thinking that it was possible for the bumblebee to fly. While the bumblebee knows nothing about those limited beliefs. And so, what does it do? It flies. The professor was stopped from trying to solve the problem because he thought it was impossible to solve. The student knew nothing about those beliefs and so solved it. So let me ask you, what beliefs are holding you back? What do others or even you yourself say is impossible for you to achieve? It may be time for you to let go of those beliefs and fly just like the bumblebee.